Hello blog readers, I'm Alex Karasik, associate at Seifarth Shaw. I'm here with esteemed labor and employment attorney Jerry Matman to talk about a hot topic that's been surfacing on the radars of business, businesses and litigators alike, the topic of third-party litigation funding. Jerry, what is third-party litigation funding? Well, Alex, that's when a third party uh, agrees by contract to actually advance money to lawyers or a party bringing a lawsuit to relieve them of the costs of the litigation and to allow them to maximize their ability to seek a return on that litigation either through a judgment, a verdict, or by settlement. In essence, uh, think of David and Goliath and the litigation funder comes in and helps uh, the party without the money to be able to finance complex or significant litigation. So how does third-party litigation funding come into play in the class action landscape? Well, it impacts uh, class actions insofar as it levels the playing field. I've represented and been hired by plaintiffs, class action lawyers, uh, when they have divvied up uh, settlement proceeds and sometimes disputed their shares. And I saw this kind of peek behind the curtain of what plaintiffs' lawyers have to do to raise money and sustain long class action uh, litigation that might last five to 10 to 15 years. And so the ability to remove uh, the financial disincentives and to free up the plaintiff's lawyers to be able to litigate those cases without worrying about getting a second or a third mortgage on their house tends to level the playing field and uh, make it easier for those plaintiff's lawyers to pursue uh, their cases. Okay, Jerry, so you've told us about third-party litigation funding and how it affects the class action landscape. So let's say you're a business right now and you just got a, a class action law school that just came in the door. What can businesses do to find out if there's a third party that's bankrolling one of these lawsuits against your company? Well, uh, besides picking up the phone and asking the plaintiff's lawyer, uh, uh, an employer, a defendant can serve formal discovery and seek uh, uh, under oath an answer from the plaintiffs as to whether or not a third party is advancing costs or funding the litigation. In fact, in the last six months, the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California has actually enacted a local rule making that disclosure mandatory, and that follows up on a somewhat famous ruling that our blog uh, posted about a case involving a class action with Chevron where uh, a plaintiff refused to answer that discovery and the court compelled uh, responses to that discovery on the theory that third-party financing uh, was relevant. I think third-party financing is here to stay. I think it's going to impact class actions uh, from here on out. And I uh, would look to see third-party financiers getting involved in both sides of the V, both on the plaintiff side and on the defense side. Thank you, Jerry. So as our, law, as our loyal blog readers know, these class actions are often bet the company cases. And as such, businesses will want to know everything they can about what the claims that are being brought against it, the parties that are being uh, involved in the lawsuit, and whether any third party might be bankrolling one of these lawsuits. And today we learned from Jerry about what this practice entails and what businesses can do to get in front of it. So loyal blog readers, please stay tuned as we can promise to continue to deliver the latest updates on employment law. Thank you. Thanks so much, Alex. Thank you, Jerry.